Hey, what's up everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today on Lunchtime with My Gear VR, we are going to check out Daedalus. So, what's this one? Well, it's being described as a platformer with exploration elements. Uh, you kind of fly from platform to platform, and you know, you got to find these three to open doors. So, pretty cool, you know, it sounds almost like it's got a little puzzle aspect to it. So, I can't wait to get in there and check it out and take you guys with me. So let's fly along into Daedalus. All right, here we are. So got our controller ready to go and let's do it. So it looks like uh, we're going to do the tutorial here first and it's wanting me to use the controller to point in the direction I want to jump and pull the trigger. So, whoa. Okay, that got me just a little bit pit of my stomach there for a second. I wasn't expecting that slow takeoff. All right, so let's go over here. Okay, and tap on the touchpad and hold. Okay, so that stops me dead in my tracks. Oh, very cool. All right. Ah! There we go. Kind of like thrusters on a starship here. I just got to get used to like babying it. Okay, jumping uses energy, so land on the floor to recharge. There we go. Oh, I see. So the little energy ball comes up. Very cool. Now I will say, you know, the the scale of everything in here and the graphics do look pretty damn good. Um, I'm gonna have to kind of get back. Hope I don't get out of the camera frame here, but. This is definitely want to play in a swivel chair um, or standing. I can see where this would be played really good standing. Okay, so now we want to find and land on the three triangles to open the gate. Alright, there's one. Oh, come on, come on, you can do it! You can do it! Nice! There's number two. And come on. And there's number three. Got it. Yeah. All right. Let's fly on out of here. No. Ah. <coughs> okay. That was a fail. Ah, let me through anyway. Okay. So, I think I already figured out precise landings. So, you know, yeah, I can I can tell you right now, though, once you get past the tutorial here, this is going to be pretty chill. I, I could definitely see myself just kind of playing this for hours, just losing myself in it. I kind of like these platformer puzzle type games. Let's see if I can make it all the way over. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so what do we got here? Oh, okay. So now it's saying that if I want to get a... Oh, yeah, okay. That gives me a higher arc. Okay. Excellent. A little hidden down there. I couldn't read that until I got here. Interesting. And we'll go straight up and over. Excellent. All right. Okay. Once the energy is depleted, hold the trigger to glide and steer. Oh, well, I guess I really haven't tried to steer. Now I am having to make some pretty vast arm movements here in order to get it to kind of move just a little bit. But overall, not not bad. Oh man. I think I should have edged out there. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. No, I got this. I got this. Alright, very cool. All right, straight up the wall. And 
noise. And we're out of here. Very cool. Okay, land on a round column or triangle to save my progress. We definitely want to save my progress. Got it. All right, let's see if we can do this. I like the gentle feeling of the flight. It definitely has a kind of a nice feel to it. Also digging this mellow Tron like music in the background. Because I'm having to turn away from the speaker I use for recording, I don't know how well you guys might be hearing that, but it's just got a really cool ambient chill soundtrack. Not hating on it. No. Oh, okay, cool. So, am I out of the tutorial now? Am I actually in the game? Let's see. Okay, so we gotta hit these three triangles. Ah, come on, build up. Nice soft landing there. Mm -hmm. All right, there we have it. First level down. Architecture in here is really cool. Oh, where's my triangles, though? Oh, there's two. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh -uh. Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, just barely. Yep, oh, there's number three. for this one. Alright, and go! Got you. Got 
at you. Let's see if I can just glide it right in there. You know, I will say too, this is definitely making an interesting use of the new Gear VR controller. I like how I'm kind of just pointing where I want to go. Um, you know, if I had any critique on that, I would say it definitely should be a little more sensitive uh, to the left and right movements. But other than that, um, yeah, I, it, it definitely works well for this type of game. Oh, hot lava! Don't want to fall in the lava. Let's get right out on the edge. My man on the edge! Oh, 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 no, I ain't gonna make it. I ain't gonna make it. I'm gonna fall in hot lava. Oh, well, that wasn't lava. That was just a red floor. Never mind. See, here I was, thinking I was all in trouble. Okay, so I think we're gonna go ahead and get to the top of this pyramid, and we'll probably go ahead and cap it there. Um because I'm sure this just goes on like this for hours and hours and you know god forbid it's the last thing you guys want to do it's the last thing I want to do too I gotta go eat me a cheeseburger you know I thought it was actually funny I, I got an email the other day from a guy who will remain nameless who was like uh, you don't do these in your office at work no I actually do I actually do this on my lunch hour so I try to give myself at least 15-20 minutes to go eat before I have to punch back in and serve all the fine students here at the university with their technology needs. There's number two, there's number three, back there. All right, build up some power. So this is definitely not for twitchy gamers. I mean, this this is very chill, very slow paced, um, you know. But man, if you're looking for something just chill and relaxing to do with your Gear VR and you have the new controller, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I, I do. I recommend this. This is pretty damn cool. Let's see if I can. Yeah, can I do it? Come on, power up. Uh, I guess that doesn't. It's not considered a floor since it's a slope surface. And you know, it, you know, one other suggestion for the developers on this, it might be cool to add like maybe some motion support, like if I'm standing on this flat surface that I could actually walk on it and then fly off of the edges. Um, you know, we've got the, the trackpad here that might be something to look into. But overall, ooh, I'm under a ledge. Is that gonna work? Yep. And I'm out of here. All right, there we go. There we have it. Make sure I'm facing the camera here. So, yeah. So yeah, man, Daedalus, uh, you know, as I said in, in the, uh, the playthrough here, you know, it, it definitely, if you're looking for something fast paced and action oriented, well, this isn't for you. If you're looking for something that is just, you know, really chill and you got the cool ambient soundtrack in the background and, and just the, the nice gentle feeling of flight, I highly recommend giving this a look. I'm going to throw a link down in the description as usual, so if you want to grab that, you can head over to the Oculus Score for Gear VR, and you can grab a copy from there. Uh, but as always, I want to thank everybody for watching to the end of the video today. If you guys did make it this far, you know that means the world to me, and I can't thank you enough. And of course, if this was your first time coming by my channel, Man, thank you very much for coming by and checking out what I do here on Lunchtime with my Gear VR. If you want to see more great VR content, head over to my main page, man. Hit up my uh, sidebar. See what the rest of my friends and the VR spies are doing. It's, a, it's an awesome group of guys that are out here working every day to bring you the best in virtual reality content on YouTube. And of course, if you're already a subscriber, guys, we are so close. We're going to hit 5,000 anytime now, and I can't thank 
each and every one of you enough for helping me to get this far. So like it, tweet it, share it. Let's talk about it down in the comments, as I always say. And of course, if you're a first timer, smash that subscribe button. Come along with me the next time I do something cool in VR. I'd love to take you along for the ride. But for me, that cheeseburger's calling my name. This is VR Gamer Dude, signing off today, y'all. Peace.